Hello, I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. Good job. <laughs> and today we are going to teach you how to get your rabbit to sit in your lap. <laughs> if you are new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so that you never miss any of our weekly videos. Okay, so I want to help manage your expectations here. You can train a rabbit to get into your lap. However, you can't necessarily train a rabbit to stay in your lap that is going to be up to your rabbit's personality because not all rabbits are going to be comfortable staying in a person's lap for long periods of time and it is possible that if your rabbit is young right now because young rabbits are especially unwilling to stay in one place for long periods of time they just have a short attention span and then maybe as they get older they'll be more willing to just sit and stay while you pet them but sometimes they won't. So just make sure that you allow your rabbit to show their own personality and even if they don't want to stay for long periods of time, you can at least train them to come up into your lap. This is also usually a lot easier to teach smaller rabbits than larger rabbits. So that's also another thing that to be ready for if you're having difficulty with your rabbit. Sometimes it's just the size of the rabbit makes it a little bit more difficult to teach them. Another little thing that I've found with the rabbits that I've taught to sit in a lap, oftentimes if you're sitting on the floor, they'll be less willing to just stay in your lap. Whereas if you're sitting on the chair or a sofa or something like that, they'll be a lot more willing to hop up onto your lap and stay there while you pet them. I don't really know why there's this differentiation, but this does seem to be a pattern with a bunch of the rabbits that I've worked with. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll teach them how to get into my lap on the floor, but then if I want to try to encourage them to stay on my lap, I will start getting them to hop up onto my lap when I'm on a sofa or a chair and then start petting them there. But I will be going over the different techniques for training a rabbit on the floor and then also training them on a sofa or a chair too. Step one is very simple. You just want to get your rabbit to put their front paws on your legs when they come up to you. So this basically gets them to understand that going up on your lap a little bit gets them a treat. So you lure them to your lap and then once they put their paws on your leg, that's when you give them a treat. And you want to try to do it as close to the moment when they put their paws on your leg as possible because then it will be easier for them to make that association between the action that they're doing and the reward that they're getting. The next step also generally goes pretty smoothly. You want to just encourage your rabbit to reach farther and farther onto your lap before they get the treat. So if they start on one side of you, you can lure them farther and farther so that they're stretching all the way out to the other side of you before you give them the treat. And basically just see how far you can get them to go before they give up. Because you want them to know that they're going to eventually get the treat, but you also want them to go beyond their boundaries and continue to stretch for the treat without giving up. Step three is basically just a continuation of step two, and it's you are luring your rabbit all the way to the point where they can't quite reach anymore by stretching, and then they hop onto your lap, and then they get the treat for that. This is why it's a lot easier with smaller rabbits than larger ones because oftentimes you could stretch like all the way across your lap, especially me because I'm really small, <laughs> but you could stretch all the way across your lap and the rabbit might still be able to reach. So it can be a lot harder to lure them all the way onto your lap. But with smaller rabbits, sometimes you don't even have to lure them that far and they'll already be hopping on your lap. But basically you're just continuing to lure them and then as soon as they hop up onto your lap, that exact moment, that's when you want to give them the treat so that they can make that association between their action, which is hopping on your lap, and the reward, which is the treat. Now at first they're probably going to just hop off right away. That's okay, let them. You can lure them on again to get them to hop up onto your lap again until they get the hang of it. Usually once your rabbit figures it out, then they'll be good at it and then they'll be hopping up onto your lap to get a treat whenever. But keep repeating until they seem to get it. Sometimes they'll even stay on your lap afterwards and kind of beg from on top of your lap, especially the little tiny rabbits. <laughs> now if you want to try to get your rabbit to stay on your lap, 
then at this point you're going to want to start trying to pet them while you're on their lap because they're going to get really excited for the treat so if you want them to stay there then you need to get them to calm down so basically once you give them the treat when they're on their lap you want to start petting them and just calmly soothing them and getting them to calm down on your lap as i said this is usually not all that easy to do when you're sitting on the floor it's hard to say why but usually i have to be working with a very calm rabbit in order to get them to calmly sit in my lap while I'm sitting on the floor. Young rabbits in particular are generally unwilling to just stay there. So if your rabbit is a little baby, <laughs> under a year old or even up to two, then I wouldn't even expect them to stay in your lap. But you never know, so you can try. You do not, under any circumstances, want to try to pick your rabbit up or trap them in your lap to keep them there because that is a good way to make sure your rabbit never hops into your lap again because they will stop trusting you and they will, just, they will just not do it anymore. So let your rabbit leave if they want to leave. Feeling trapped in your lap is just going to make them not want to stay there. Now, if you want to get your rabbit to sit in your lap while you're sitting on a chair or the sofa or something like that, then that's actually usually a little easier than when you're on the floor. When you're on a higher surface, I think rabbits see you more just as the chair or as the sofa, and you kind of combined in their mind, so it makes it a little bit easier for them to be willing to hop up on top of you. I don't really know why, but that's my experience with the many rabbits that I've worked with. So basically the steps are the same. It's just usually you have more success with them. Um, and you do need to start by luring your rabbit up onto the higher surface. So get your rabbit to hop up on top of the sofa. It's the same kind of luring technique, just with the treat, you're going to show them that they have a treat. And first when they stand up on their hind legs and like put their paws on the sofa, then you can give them the treat but then you'll slowly lure them to actually hop up on top of the sofa to give them the treat. And then you'll be doing the same steps with luring them onto your lap. And when you get to step four, you will start petting them and calming them down. And just a lot of the time, they will be very happy to settle down in your lap while they're there. And it can be a great bonding time with your rabbit. And I cannot stress this enough, never force your rabbit to stay in your lap. Never try to hold them there or like trap them there because then they will not do it again. Then they will stop trusting you and that will turn out well. So always let them leave if they want to leave. You can pet them as much as you want, but eventually they'll decide that they've had enough and they'll go away. Sometimes they'll have had enough after like five seconds and you just gotta let them go. It's really up to your rabbit and their personality whether or not they're going to become a lap bunny. <laughs> it's not in the genes of every bunny out there. So you just gotta let your rabbit's personality shine and if they're a lap bunny, awesome. If they're not, well, you can train them to get into your lap, but you can't force them to stay. If you're interested in more tricks to teach a rabbit, then I do have a training playlist that you can check out. I have tricks like how to teach a rabbit to give you kisses and how to give you high fives and that kind of thing. So go ahead and check out the playlist if that's the kind of thing that you want to know more about. And thank you so much for watching. I do hope that we will see you next week.